In the K-entertainment industry, we have many icons who have left a significant mark, but few have shaped history quite like Ayu, a young woman who overcame numerous obstacles in life to reach the pinnacle where she stands today. Her career wasn't always successful. She had to fight to carve out her space. Furthermore, she battled with mental illness issues and the tragedies that came her way. This is the story of the K-pop princess, the nation's sweetheart, Ayu. Lee Jinen, better known as Ayu, was born in Seoul, South Korea, on May 16, 1993. Even though she's become one of the most famous stars in the country, earning the title of the Princess of K Entertainment, her life isn't the fairy tale it seems. In reality, Ayu's story is quite heartbreaking and sad. She was born into a well off family. Yes, her early years were comfortable, but unfortunately, the country's economic crisis and her family's debts led to financial ruin. They had to move cities and part ways with her parents, eventually settling in her grandmother's rundown and vermin-infested house, sharing a study room with her cousins for over a year. Amidst this hardship, she found solace in singing and acting, deciding to pursue her dream but it wasn't easy to follow this path. Things got tough when her family tried to crush her dreams of becoming artists. The singer shared a story about how one of her relatives would come home drunk and verbally abuse her, yelling that she should study instead of practicing because she'd never become a singer. Ayu said she always pretended to be asleep just to endure it all the pain she was feeling. But life had more suffering in store for her. Despite the lack of support within her family, Ayu persevered and did everything she could to chase her dreams. Even when she mustered the courage to stand up, life wasn't exactly kind to her. She auditioned for over 20 roles, facing rejection and even falling victim to entertainment scams, giving them money on trainings that were fake. But Finally, a light in the dark. A company noticed her talent and took her on as a trainee, initially slated for a girl group debut that never happened. She eventually signed with Leon Entertainment in 2007, undergoing 10 months of training before debuting solo on September 18, 2008. Before her debut, IU was given her stage name, derived from I and U, symbolizing the connection music fosters between people. And given her circumstances, Ayu found solace in the studio, where she could eat freely and had a place to sleep. With her imminent debut, Ayu's school grades plummeted rapidly. So when she finished high school, she opted out of further studies to focus on singing. At just 15 years old, Ayu was ready to debut, and she did so with the song Lost Child, performed live for the first time on M Countdown. However, it wasn't the cherished moment she had hoped for. Years later, she recalled being insulted and hearing a man call her a pig over other derogatory names. Despite the discouragement, she now considers it a beneficial experience that prepared her to forge ahead. Her debut with Lost Found earned her the Rookie of the Month Award from the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism of Korea in November of the same year. However, it wasn't a commercial success. Yet, IU sees this as another valuable experience. She believes that had she achieved immediate success, she wouldn't have the same appreciation for her team or the popularity she enjoys today. Ayu continued releasing albums and singles that received moderate reception locally. Over time, her fan base began to form. Initially, she portrayed a somewhat childish and tender image that didn't sit well with her. Fortunately, this style lasted only two more albums. Despite a challenging start, success came quickly, and she's remained one of Korea's most beloved artists. No one would have imagined that years ago she was living among garbage and poverty with nothing to eat. And now, with eight EPs and five studio albums, IU has become one of the country's most successful singers, paving the way for other solo artists at a time when success was mostly measured for idol groups. Not just known for singing, IU's acting skills are also highly acclaimed. Since 2011, IU has been making waves in both television and film. From Dream High to Moon Lovers, Scarlet Heart Day, My Ajishi, 
Hotel de Luna and Persona, a Netflix miniseries where she portrays different characters. She's been captivating audiences. Her talent also extends to the big screen, with appearances in movies like Chase of the Hearts and Broker, where she even graced the Cannes Film Festival, a remarkable feat for a Korean artist. Most recently, she starred in Dream alongside actor Park So Jung. But despite achieving milestones and celebrations, tragedy became somewhat of her companion, and sadness visited her from time to time. Because on her journey to success, Ayu also fought tough personal battles. In the 2014 Healing Camp program, she tearfully admitted to receiving treatment for eating disorders that plagued her since her early days in the industry. With bravery, she acknowledged struggling with bulimia, a condition that tormented her internally. Despite the painful process, she managed to overcome it with therapy and the support of her loved ones. The experience only heightened her appreciation for mental health and the need to normalize issues that affect many in society. Today, as a public figure, she speaks out to help others fighting similar battles in private. And another story that illustrates her kindness is when she attended a fan's graduation party despite it being over three hours away. Ayu is also known for listening to her fans' problems through social media and offering advice. For instance, when a male fan informed her he would soon enlist in the army, she sent him photos, drinks, and a handwritten letter. Many compared her to Taylor Swift as they share similar concepts and approach to her feelings and the way to express them. When we talk about Ayu overcoming tragedies in her short life, it's impossible not to mention the loss of three of her best friends within two years. In 2017, she had to abruptly say goodbye to Jonghyun, a singer and member of the group SHINee, with whom she shared a deep friendship. Those who knew them together could attest that they were like siblings. Later in 2019, Ayu said goodbye to Sully, a singer from the group FX, who sadly took her own life. That same year, Ayu also lost Guhara, a close friend and member of the group Kara, who was also found dead at her home due to suicide. Guhara suffered from depression caused by cyberbullying and couldn't bear the loss of her best friend Sully. So in 2020, Ayu released her song 8, featuring Suga from BTS. Many fans see this song as a tribute to her three friends whom she lost in such a short time. Some interpreted the video as symbolizing Toyeon as a dragon because he loved Charmander. The girl in the white dress, Sully, runs because she never gave up. And when she falls onto the dragon, Toyeon, Ayu wakes up and cries as she sees them flying together. What's more, in the lyrics of Eight, we're related to the departure, as it speaks of people who left without saying goodbye, young ones, but who remain in their memories. The lyrics reflect her feelings toward her friends. Are you happy now? And you leave without even saying goodbye? It seems like I've lost everything. We'll meet in those beautiful memories. The words forever are like a sand castle. After each passes into eternity, let's meet on this island. As you can see, they reflect Ayu's feelings towards her friends, questioning their happiness and expressing the pain of loss. Through this collaboration with Suga, Ayu conveys a message of love and remembrance. While the singer never denied it, she mentioned that the song is simply about turning 28 and the things she had learned up to that point. What's true is that at 9.11am KST on May 7th, 8 hit number 1 on the iTunes Top Songs charts in at least 59 different regions, a new record for Korean soloists, including the United States, France, Singapore, New Zealand, Finland, Malaysia, the Philippines, and more. IU became the second Korean female artist to top an iTunes chart in the United States, after Yuna. At 7.30 a.m. KST on May 8th, A achieved a certified all-kill, and on May 11th at 12.30 a.m. KST, iChart announced that 8 had also achieved a perfect all-kill. By the end of 2022, rumors surfaced that IU was in a relationship with actor and model Yi Tongsuk, information confirmed by the respective representatives of both. The couple met in 2012 when they were hosts of the program Inki Gayo and developed a strong friendship that evolved into a romantic relationship. Internet users supported them and wished them well, saying that the artist finally deserved her own fairy tale. 
More recently, IU and V from BTS have surprised everyone with their incredible chemistry in the music video Love Wins All. The video takes us on a cinematic journey that is as beautiful as it is haunting, set against the backdrop of a post-apocalyptic future. It tells the story of a couple struggling to survive while being in love. It's a beautiful story with performances that send shivers down our spines and convince us that indeed, love conquers all. This is proof that IU's career is currently at its peak, and fortunately, everything indicates that she will continue to wear the crown and set the standard for the industry with her songs, her charisma, and above all, her sincerity. IU's journey shows us the power of perseverance, using her talent to overcome tough times and staying compassionate even during loss. As one of Korea's most beloved artists with a successful career spanning a decade, her story reminds us to never give up on our dreams.